I'm Dominic. Um, let's take a look at Beat Ecosystem CI, what has happened in the last year. For those of you who don't know, Beat Ecosystem CI is an extra automation step that runs new Beat builds before they are released through CIs of various Ecosystem CI projects. Um, this helps us ensure that our releases remain compatible and don't introduce breaking or unexpected changes to frameworks and other packages in the ecosystem that use Vite. To learn more, you can watch my talk from last year and also follow our GitHub repository. Last year, Vite already had a great vibe going on. A lot of repositories, packages, and over 600 contributors building it. But this year, it has exploded. We have five times the repositories using Vite and a lot more packages building on top. And what I love the most is that over 200 new contributors have joined. Welcome every single one of you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Keep coming. So last year, there were 14 jobs in Ecosystem CI, already covering a pretty diverse range of projects from meta frameworks like Astro Svelte, with SvelteKit and Nuxt to utility areas like vTest or more low level things like Vite plugin SSR. So with the growth in Vite ecosystem and the way that adding a test is pretty easy, we decided to do just that and add more tests. So today we have Analog.js, Histoire, NX, Preview.js, Quick, Uno CSS, and more Vite plugins. Some of them have been part of the Vite repo before, but we have extracted them into their own repositories and Ecosystem CI allows us to still keep the coverage for them the same as before. And Maybe even the greatest thing that has happened is that there are now entirely new ecosystem CIs. So Vue uses it. Evan talked about it last year in person. And Nuxt and Svelte and Vtest and NX and Volar and our SPEC even have added their own versions of ecosystem CI. Storybook uses a slightly different approach. Um, they have a great blog post about it. Check it out. Their status page is something worth stealing. So all of these we use to collaborate on them. And we analyze reports coming in from the test runs. We resolve the fails that happen. And by this, we guard our ecosystem from botched releases and scrambling to fix things because we learn about them before they happen. Um, this is a continuous effort that happens every week um, because Ecosystem CI is run on a schedule to, to make sure we don't mess anything. Um, let's take a small look at how we handle the analysis of fails, especially during beat beta, fails happen a lot. Some of them are expected because we'll release a breaking change. But many fails, they are not really fails. They are false positives. We still have to look at the log file, but it can turn out that it's a flaky test. Or the infrastructure fluked, like GitHub didn't download something, or an end-to-end -end test didn't connect to the server in time. And of course, projects are live. so. Scripts may change, and the script that is used in the test of Vite Ecosystem CI has to be updated to match that. So not every red is really dangerous for the ecosystem itself, but it still requires maintenance from us to check and update scripts. Then there are actual failures that need a small change to be resolved. Um, this ranges from incompatible types that can happen when a project updates their dependency and it no longer matches the version Vite uses. And then 
subtle type differences can cause TypeScript to fail because the type overlap isn't there anymore. It doesn't necessarily mean that it would fail with the user's project because the user only uses one version of Beat, but the dev dependency and the version that Beat uses are incompatible. And we have to change something to make that work. The other thing that can happen regularly is that a snapshot has been recorded that is very granular. And a subtle change in Beat might result in a subtle change that doesn't really have a change in behavior, but some bits or bytes in the snapshot have changed and the snapshot needs to be updated. And the last one is legit fails that cause a change in behavior that isn't expected and we have to do something about it. So um, speaking of doing something about it, how do we fix these reds? So for, for type changes, we at first introduced re-exporting rollup types through Vite so that packages using Vite can make sure they use the same type version and TypeScript doesn't complain anymore. Uh, this is um, a great way to reduce the amount of times this happened, um, but still some others can, and for them, we, we ping the maintainers and we try to sync the versions and send PRs sometimes if it's really easy. Other times we wait for the types to be updated in the downstream project. For other legit errors, we, we have to start a discussion. Um, and this discussion, then we determine what's the best course of action. Do we have to roll back the change in Vite because we did something that was really not expected or planned? Um, or does the downstream project have to release a new major to um, remain compatible with the breaking change in the new Vite major version. Um, this is a, a long process and takes a lot of time, especially when you have to go back and forth. It can take from days to weeks to resolve everything. And after many hours spent uh, on GitHub CI CPU hours and also many hours for maintainers uh, work, it should all be green again in Ecosystem CI. And once we have this, we can do releases in a seamless way that we can be sure are great for our users and we can rest well at night, not fearing a lot of new bug reports in the morning. But it's a lot of effort. And with the growth we've seen in Vite Ecosystem CI and in Vite in general, we cannot continue to grow at the same pace with the same amount of people doing it. So please support us and keep watching out for your own projects in the ecosystem CIs. Join our efforts to ensure our users can enjoy the most stable releases and keep the ecosystem growing in a safe way. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Patak and Blue, for keeping up with Ecosystem CI. Thank you, every single maintainer and contributor to Veep and all the Ecosystem CIs. It's great. Follow all the links. Um, thanks from the photos on Unsplash. And see you soon. This was Ecosystem CI one year later. I'm Dominic. Goodbye.